The Dean Blundell Show may contain subject matter that could be considered offensive by some. Listener discretion is advised. There's a time when the operation of the machine becomes so odious, makes you so sick at heart, that you can't take part. You can't even passively take part. And you've got to put your bodies upon the gears and upon the wheels, upon the levers, upon all the apparatus, and you've got to make it stop. The Dean Blundell Show. 102.1 102.1 This Is Your Edge Hold it Files With Dean Blundell On the edge Time for your edge files Yesterday uh, Some dude named John Tried to sing the national anthem uh, American and Canadian At the uh, at the, In Dunedin At the Jays game Jays played in Minnesota yesterday Got walloped 10-1 That's okay though Because uh, JP got a he went yard. He went stick. He went big. Anyway, the guy didn't know either national anthem. <laughs> it is so funny to because he makes it up as he goes for both, then restarts them both. <laughs> he oh. just starts the American National Anthem, <laughs> which he then went on to butcher as well. in singing in the middle infield in front of thousands of people, and then he just stopped because he realized, I don't know any of the words to either of these two songs. He told someone after he volunteered to do it, he forgot to learn both sets of lyrics. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's a biggie. <laughs> It's just so embarrassed. Makes me laugh so hard. Watch people get embarrassed. (laughs) Hey, police uh, said uh, some guy got shot by his dog while he was driving down a Florida highway. Police spokesperson in the town of Sebring, Florida, where the shooting occurred, said some indications were shooting victim may have made up his dog shoots me story. Really? A guy named Greg Lanier, 35-year-old, told police he uh, thought the 9mm Beretta semi-automatic handgun on the floor of his pickup truck was unloaded. It blows my mind. People just have guns laying on the floor of their truck. <laughs> when the black and tan English bulldog kicked it and caused it to fire, he was hitting the left leg and the bullet wound it was patched up at a local hospital. It wasn't serious. It's what he claims, uh, one of the uh, policemen said. We didn't spend a lot of time investigating it. There is a hole through the console and also in his leg. Good part is the dog was safe. Nothing, nothing bad happened to the dog. Uh, he couldn't be reached for comment Wednesday. Dog? <laughs> no. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> he was pissing me off. <laughs> drive. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up and drive. <laughs> Son of my mom. Yeah. <laughs> Son of my mom. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> A substance found in Oscar Pistorius' bedroom following the death of his girlfriend, originally said to be uh, <laughs> said to be steroids, isn't it? It's a herbal remedy used to aid muscle recovery. A Pistorius family spokesperson named Lunice Johnson said the subject, the substance was uh, a testy compound, <laughs> which is marketed as a sexual enhancer which improves stamina. Boners, man. He was trying to get big boners. Oh, I was thinking... Tablet from the herbal remedy contains 23 ingredients, including pig testicles, pig heart, pig embryo, pig adrenal gland, cortisone, ginseng, and other stuff. Better work. Yeah, that's a lot of the pig, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Gives him um, good aim, too. Yeah. <laughs> Always take these before a shoot through the bathroom door. <laughs> He's like a pogo stick. <laughs> <laughs> Just jumping up and down. Yeah. This is the best. This is the best. This is the best. <laughs> oh, man. That's still such a funny story because he's got no legs. <laughs> <laughs> he's got no legs. <laughs> uh, those are your edge files for whatever the hell day it is in February, the year 2013. Yeah! The edge files on 102. The Edge! Bored, lonely, hard up. 
Use your free hand and follow the boys on Twitter. At Dean Blundell Show. The Dean Blundell Show. 102.1. Catch. So I was, I was doing some reading uh, uh, yesterday, and uh, you know our weatherman, Frankie McDonald, he predicted this big storm. And the reason why we don't uh, we didn't play is because it was just, it was the same storm prediction that he did, you know, the last storm we got. It was actually four minutes and 24 <laughs> seconds long, too. That's also <laughs> why we didn't play it, yeah. So uh, anyway... There's, there's another local station that, uh, you know, we've been playing his stuff for probably two years, two, three years. And he makes More it for men. us. Four years? Think about Earthquake Warning. How long oh, yeah. ago that earthquake was? Earthquake Warning. That's the old studio. Yeah. Maybe four or five years. Yeah. Um, he's now got like 3.4 million views on his YouTube channel, 10,000 subscribers. Just a, And we love him. I think he's a great guy. Anyway, turns out he's autistic. Huh. Hmm. Who knew? Um, I thought he was just from the East Coast. Me too. I didn't know. I just thought he loved weather (laughs) and Chinese food. So there's another local radio station that jumped on the Frankie bandwagon a couple of months ago because they're devoid of talent or any respect whatsoever for this man. So they got in a lot of trouble, apparently, because they were making fun of him. And I cannot believe for the life of me that someone would make fun or make light of anybody with any kind of infirmity. It's horrifying. It is sickening. Those irresponsible jerk-offs should be taken off the radio. I might have, I might have had something to do with that. What are you saying, Derek? Uh, I, I'm, I'm just saying that uh, a few weeks ago when we learned that the other station was playing him, I... Oh, I, and making fun of him? Yeah, well, I, yes. And I, I, hap- I wrote Frankie a note, and I, and I mentioned, I said, you know, there's another station in town that's playing your stuff and i i think they're making fun of you i don't think they're playing it because they're fans i think they're playing it because they're making light of they're their huge situations. jerk weeds yeah they're major dildos those guys and i told i told them that and i know should. one of them for a fact loves those things really <laughs> for us <laughs> can't get enough of them so anyway he wrote back and said thanks for the information yeah yeah that's right so listen to this. I'm going to play you this news story here. This is from out west. Kate Bretner's love this man, Frankie McDonald. He's he, I, I love him too. I, I love listening to him do his weather. He I, he entertains me. He makes me laugh. He spins around. He burps. He he giggles. He's just funny. <laughs> and he's got a great purpose. He loves the weather. Why would anyone make fun of this guy? Why? Anyway, here's a news story want to keep in touch with. Frankie McDonald is one of them. We introduced you to Frankie. He does the weather and he's got a huge following online. We did. That pisses me off off so much. Fine. Turns out that story struck a chord. Here's Gary Mansfield. This is Frankie McDonald. My own TV station live in Sydney, Nova Scotia. Frankie McDonald is back on the air talking about the weather. Since last night, his story has been shared thousands of times on the CBC's website. Frankie says he's received some nice comments. It was great. And a positive comments make me feel good. It says Frankie McDonald's doing a great job. Frankie sets up his camera every day and downloads his weather reports to YouTube. With tens of thousands of hits, he's become an online star. But lately, some of the comments have been hurtful. And people shouldn't be writing rude comments then because they're not nice, they're rude, and they're disrespectful. That's right, they're disrespectful. How on wait, those people, those those two guys, those two losers, those two hacks, those two morons should be taken off the radio. And you know who I'm talking about. Yeah, I do. But I'm mad the at the guy the who CBC named himself too. after some coffee. <laughs> and the guy and the other guy that's named after a chick. Coffee and a chick. <laughs> that chick from Fraser. As Frankie's celebrity status increases, his family and friends believe Frankie has become the butt of jokes online. That's, right. that's not right at all. No. It's not right for them to be doing that to him. No, that's Everyone right. should get treated the same. It's These are out of the mouth of babes. They know exactly what those two radio schleppers are doing. They're making fun of this poor man. It's not nice to be not nice. I think that's totally not right because Frankie is awesome. He tries something and all these, these people can do is dislike them. Frankie's family says a Toronto radio station has been having fun at his expense. Today, one of the DJs told CBC News they meant no harm. 
making fun of somebody, uh, first of all, is not. I don't think. I don't think in my heart I never made fun of. of okay. Please. All right, jerkweed. <laughs> Frankie, I like. I really do. Nice radio voice. <laughs> oh, 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 I love that somebody in this world. Yeah. Is, Anyway, I did went forward. Don't die, but it's very cold. Oh, Frankie die. says he will continue with his childhood cold, dream, but it's very cold, being a weatherman. People still have to wear winter boots and jackets, hats, and gloves. Gary Mansfield, CBC News, Whitney Pier. Yeah. Oh, we're Frankie fans here, aren't we? Oh, I know, and I like... Yeah, and I'm a fan of this chick's shirt. <laughs> it's a nice story. Her yeah, boobs well, look good. Boobs look wicked in them. Where's our credit? I don't, I don't need credit. Todd, this is a world where people are asking for credit. I don't need credit. What I need is for those two guys to offer a very sincere apology and get off the radio and make room for people that know what they're doing who have a heart and who can actually entertain as opposed to make googly eyes with each other over some soundboard. <laughs> Unbelievable. Just sick. Makes me sick. I am sick from I've it. Been, I, yeah, I actually, it's made you it's, listen to you physically. Me too. I might even take tomorrow off because of it. Five years we've been playing his stuff on the radio. Five years. Encouraging him to do more. What we did, he sings he with sa us. He sang, he sang a Christmas song. Yeah, with the Psychic Nikki. And he's given credit. He's given credit to the show. In his, in his, in his, in his yeah. In about 25% of them probably. That's yeah. right. Yeah. He knows us. He, we know him. You yeah. talk to him. Absolutely. We Derek tried to get him. him. We tried to get him to. Doesn't uh, want to do radio. Christmas fest. Yeah. And sausage fest. Yeah. We've tried it all. Can you imagine how huge that would be to have him there? Be awesome. Get him to do a weather forecast yeah. for us live. Be the best. Oh. I love that guy, <laughs> folks. Let me tell you something. In a in a day and age where people are just looking to feel good about themselves, these times when we're some. Some things. I find it absolutely abhorrent. Someone would point out any frailties of another human being and then make fun of them. Those two losers make me sick. 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 <clears throat> Time for traffic. Hey, Edge. You there? Yeah, I'm here. I was I was here before. I know you were. Sean's a retard, and he oh. didn't uh, bring up the button. Oh, sorry. That's uh, two before seven, right? That's two <laughs> two f ups before seven. Yeah. But He's you guys just, had Frankie first, didn't you? Not only do you we have him, him first, that's not the point. I don't need the credit for that. What I need yeah. is pe for for those those guys to stop making fun uh, and 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 stop. Uh, portraying a negative stereotype about handicapped people. Yeah, it's kind of rude. Makes me sick. Here's your coffee, Mr. Blundell. Thank you. <laughs> Blind man. <laughs> Look at, I even hire them. <laughs> <laughs> You're a damn saint, is what you are. Damn saint. Diddy Blundell Show. 102.1 The Edge. Craig Gass is on the phone, though. Good morning, Craig. What's up, bitches? Where are you? I'm actually in Florida today. <clears throat> are you in Florida? Yeah, I'm in Florida. I'm uh, coincidentally going to see the Blue Jays play today against the Yankees in spring training. I'm pretty fired up about that. Are you really? Yeah. Are you a Yankees fan? No, I'm very anti-Yankees. Uh, and, and I grew up in New York. Seattle. I actually grew up 10 miles from Yankee Stadium, and it's a weird story, but but I had an epiphany at eight years old. I had I was a huge Yankee fan as a child, and at eight years old, I can remember sitting in Yankee Stadium and actually thinking to myself, "This stadium is loaded with a holes." Like I just remember thinking that <laughs> at eight years old. At eight, at eight, you were you were thinking that I know exactly what a holes are, and the entire Yankee Stadium's full of them. They're all drunk. They're like they were just, they were animals. And I remember at eight years old just thinking, I can't support this. If this team wins, yes, I would be happy, but so would all these jerks. <laughs> so I, I actually defected at eight years old and just said, I'm not going to root for this team anymore. Mm -hmm. so, so now that there's a new Yankee Stadium and the seats are so expensive, is it just like a new batch of a-holes that are there now? 
No, the a-holes are still there. And, <laughs> New uh, batch of a-holes. <laughs> like a rich yeah, one. Fresh <laughs> batch of a-holes. Get your a-holes. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? There's nothing worse than a rich a-hole. <laughs> and there's, still, there's this weird arrogance that comes with being a Yankee fan. And I think, that, and then also when I got to an age where I realized, uh, oh, this thing isn't even set up in a way that it's fair. There's, there's a comedian named Doug Stanhope that has a great line about um, rooting for the New York Yankees. It's like going to a it's like going to a casino and cheering on the dealer. Because <laughs> <laughs> the odds because the odds are stacked yeah. towards you know towards the house, and the Yankees have the the odds stacked to where they're going to win the majority of the time, and they have, and that's just you know I, I believe that up to a certain age. You should, uh, if you're from the New York area, you should root for the Yankees because it's like Santa Claus. It's like it's like make believe, and you get to a certain age of reason, and you should you should stop rooting for the team. You know, yeah, you know what? It's so hard to root for them because and them and the, and the the Red Sox are no better because for years they all they did was. Uh, buy opportunities to get into the playoffs. Not necessarily, as we saw with the Red Sox and the Yankees, not necessarily championships, although they did win a few, but over the last 15, 20 years, they bought playoff teams. So it is so hard for everybody else to compete. And if you watched if you watched your team go into the AL East and try and play these guys, all you did was just get pissed off every year. And you, and, and if oh, you're yeah. in the AL East, you're, you're, you're watching these guys and, and you know you don't have a hope. Yeah, but, you know, that's different for the Blue Jays now. A lot of people talking about how good the Blue Jays are looking this year. That's why I'm excited about going to the game and, yeah. and watching them. I, I've never seen a spring training game before in, in Florida. So was, uh, I came out here to do some shows just so I could go uh, see some baseball. So and That's, that's awesome. That's the one game I'm going to go to is I'm going to get to see the Blue Jays play today. So I'm really excited about Are, are you excited, too? Um, uh, you have a show up here at the, is it, uh, the Panasonic Theater. When's, when's your show at the Panasonic in March? Uh, March 29th. They actually believe that the shows, there's two shows at the Panasonic on March 29th. They think the shows are going to sell out. It seems to have the momentum to sell out. I have a, uh, this is going to sound really weird. Uh, I just did a spread for Hustler Magazine. <laughs> Get out of here. Gross. Are you serious? <laughs> I, swear, I swear to God. I mean, it's, 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 did you it's shave for it? Did you shave your nuts for it? Yeah, I actually had to shave my taint. And, uh, uh, <laughs> I can just imagine you with a little surprised look on your face. Ooh, oh, oh, that feels weird. Ooh. <laughs> but it was going to come out uh, right before the uh, the shows at the Panasonic, and um, uh, I can't wait to get out there. Um, I, uh, I know we only have a minute, but uh, I posted a clip. Last time I talked to you, I was preparing to do uh, the first roast live on TV. Um, and it was the roast of Dee Snyder. Yeah. And uh, there's uh, some weird moments that happened there. Uh, there was a bunch of rockers, uh, guys like uh, Zach Wilde from Ozzy Osbourne's band, uh, Scott Ian from Anthrax, a bunch of comedians, Jim Norton, Penn Gillette, uh, uh Donald Trump, all these like random guys showed up. Leah Ford got very offended and you just need to see the look on her face when I'm saying some of the things that I'm saying. I don't think she was prepared to hear some of the things that were said. Um, and you can just read it on her face, but I, I posted it on it's facebook.com slash I love gas. Um, have you seen the clip yet? No, no, I haven't. I'm not, a, I'm not on Facebook and I've been told that I should be on Facebook, but I, 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 and, and who knows if I will, that's not the point, but I haven't seen your clip. No. <laughs> Well, you got to check it out. It's it's it's, it's very. I, I'd love to hear your opinion about it. But I'll be up there in about three or four weeks. I made uh, room so I can get up there in time to go see a Maple Leafs game. I've never been to a hockey game. Uh, Are you serious? So, uh, I'm, I'm dead serious. <laughs> Dude, I'm, you can't. Always, a Leaf game can't be your first game. You got to go to like a Buffalo game. Don't, you're it in kills Florida. me to say that, but uh, yeah. yeah, go to Florida. You're in Florida now. There's. It's so much cheaper to go to a game down there. You can go to a game like a Panthers game. They'll pay you. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They'll pay you just for sitting in, in, in uh, wherever the camera pans to. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm excited. I, like, I, I just want to un I want someone to explain the, uh, not only hockey to me, but I want someone to explain to me the history. of I, I just Every time I come up, 
the intense passion for that team. is That's all I ever hear about. But then I hear people getting frustrated because they go, yeah, but, you know, the team, uh, they don't want to – they don't seem to want to put a winning product on on the ice, and uh, you know, I, I just I want to go with somebody who can just explain the game to me. Yeah, no, that 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 wouldn't be me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> uh, anyway, Craig Gass, our guest, uh, Gasser is going to be at the Panasonic Theater March 29th for a couple of shows. Both that day, uh, call the Panasonic or Ticketmaster for tickets. Or uh, I love Gas. Is that is that you, is that you on on uh, Facebook? What, what's your thing on Facebook yeah. again? Yeah, facebook.com slash I love Gas. Two S's. Two S's. And I just posted the video. And there's a bunch of weird pictures on there. You know, there's the picture of Steve-O, who uh, at the roast of Gene Simmons got hammered and ended up relieving himself on Danny Bonaducci. There's just weird pictures on there. Like, I was backstage at a Slayer concert about a year and a half ago. And I ended up, and it's, it's a long story, I ended up in a conversation with Kenny G. And while we were talking, the singer of Megadeth is in a prayer circle behind us. I need to explain that on the air. But, yeah, it's, it's a weird thing. The lead singer of Megadeth is a born again Christian. Yeah, he's, wow. Dave Mustaine is really religious. And while I was talking to Kenny G, I was trying to get my friend to take a picture of me with Kenny G. And Dave Mustaine formed a prayer circle behind us when that happened. That will never happen again in human time. <laughs> uh, yeah. Craig, Craig Gass, I love Gas Comedy. And uh, what are you on Twitter? Is it I love Gas again on Twitter? Uh, Twitter is Craig Gas Comedy. Craig Gas Comedy on Twitter. Check it out and stay up to date. D- dude, we got to roll, but we really appreciate your time. And uh, we'll see you when you come up. You come up a couple of days early so we can hang out. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, brother. We'll talk to you soon, man. I'll see you soon. Take care. This is the Dean Lundell Show. How am I sounding? Pretty good. No. Not at all. Brutal. Yeah, you sound you sound ridiculous. She really shouldn't have come in today. I don't think either of us are. We're fairly under the weather, but you really shouldn't have. Oh, do you want me to go home? No. Okay. I like I like being here. It's like a live audience member when you can't talk. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just do that. Okay, okay. <laughs> Hey, The Edge. Hey, what's going on? What's up, dude? Not much, man. Just driving to work. What's wrong? I got a question. Yeah. I want to know what's yeah. going on with girls and upset stomachs. I mean, if I yeah. eat some crappy food, I will be weighed down for a bit with an upset stomach. But these girls, man, they just seem to be so disabilitated by... Oh, out of nowhere. Random, no, random it's, there's, there's a certain sect of female that that happens to, and those people are just affected. Guys do it, too. Guys, guys are... I can't. I think they're called borderline personalities or high conflict personalities, yeah. and I have had uh, some experience in this department. Uh. <laughs> I think I have too. My last girlfriend. Yeah. What did she do? She's always was laid out with the stomach pain, man. Like everything was about her all the time. Yeah. Oh, I feel, oh I'm so sick. Yeah. I don't feel oh, good. Stop it. Oh. stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I'm gonna hang up. I don't feel <laughs> good. I'm so sick. My stomach. Oh. oh and like it, walking man. around doubled over all the time. Yeah. Oh, I'm so Lay sick. Lay it on the couch. <laughs> make put their feet up on you and shit. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I'm oh, so I'm sick. I don't feel good. Uh. uh hey. Uh. You want to go to? Uh. You want to go? Yeah. Let's go shopping. <laughs> yeah. No kidding. <laughs> As soon as it goes their way, though. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, totally. It is unbelievable. I'm going to go to my mom's. I'm feeling better now. Yeah, I, I, can yeah. I go see Ugh. my mom? Can I go? Can we go down? Oh, let's go see my family. And oh, I'm so sick if we have to do anything that requires anything at all. Well, I'm going to stay clear of those kind of girls, man. Do it, dude. Yeah. The second sure. the stomach ache appears like more than three times in a week. <laughs> Deep six it. Yeah, because sometimes they actually have food po- poisoning or might be pregnant. Like, you know, like yeah. this. Yeah. No, be. that's not the case at yeah. all. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sick. I don't feel good. Oh, I don't know what's wrong. Oh, I shouldn't have drank milk. Oh, I think it's the pills. Oh, I got to ah. I feel your pain, sir. I used to. Hey, The Edge. Hey, Dean, how you doing? Good, man. Uh, I got a little rant about uh, some of these crazy drivers I've been noticing lately. I do about an hour commute a day. Where from? Uh, what if these guys, they come up to a red light. I don't know if you've seen it. They come to a red light and they put their turn signal on like they're going to go right. And then they just blast right through a red light and take a left. 
Yeah. I have no idea. Blatant disregard for safety. It uh, makes no sense to me. Actually really makes me in a fit of rage. Yeah, it sounds like it. But, yeah, um, I'm from a small town in <clears throat> Mary. Uh, we lost an angel yesterday in a terrible car accident. Mm. Um, and actually got a, a lot of us shooken up. So, um, yeah, so for all these D-bags out there driving like morons, just, uh, you know, think twice. Yeah, absolutely, dude. That's a good point you make. Oh, my stomach. So sick. <laughs> the edge. I totally forgot about that part of life. I really did. <laughs> hey, hi, the edge. Hello. Hello. Hey, man. Hey, is this? Am I on the air? You're on. Okay, sorry. It was just the first time calling through, and it's just, it was kind of hard to tell when I was actually on the air. That's okay. Okay. Um. Yeah, I got an awkward question. Yeah, go ahead. So, uh, I've been seeing this girl lately, and she hates sex. Like, can't do it everything she says it's like it's so painful and she just gets so tensed up that i don't know she she just can't stand it what do you mean like she doesn't how many times you how, how long have you guys been dating um three months how many times have you had sex or tried to 10 12 times something like that do you just have a mess <laughs> I, I don't think it's abnormally large like i think it's just normal size I don't know. I don't. I don't whip it out and compare. You know, but <laughs> I don't know. Send Todd a picture of it. Like, and it's. I, I'll try and get close to her, and it's like I just can't get past the knees because her legs are just so tight that she just. How old is she? She's twenty three. Okay, and did she have some terrible? Ex- couple things. A, she may have had some really terrible experiences, which you don't want to. Well, I, you know, you ever had that happen where someone says, "Hey, this happened to me when I was younger," and you go, "Oh, I'm out of here." <laughs> T-Bone? Have I ever not? <laughs> uh, if, and I, I don't mean to laugh about it. It's a terrible yeah, thing. But, terrible. Uh, you it's know, okay. if, if, if she... Like, ask her. Start talking to her about it. And, and maybe maybe she's got that disorder. Because there was that one woman that had this, uh, a fistula or something like that where she had, like, uh, some kind of problems with her plumbing and it hurt the front and the back and it made uh, intercourse like impossible and the other thing is is that uh when you're you know when when you're when you're there maybe you're maybe you need to take more time kind of warming up the oven if you will oh no trust me i've been doing uh, like I, i've tried everything i've tried everything in the book because i'm like i'm trying to just make her happy and and kind of uh you know make sure every, everything's comfortable for her but she hot uh, like, yeah she's really hot <laughs> how does it look down there is it okay yeah nothing wrong with it and I and I have talked to her like I've I've tried to ask her like is this is it, a, is it a mental thing is there something you just can't wrap your head around you know is there something you really don't like is you know why are you uncomfortable but it's just like you never I can never get anything out of it. Yeah, you know what I think this is a job for a sex therapist or like a clinical sexologist because she's obviously uh, you know got either a physical problem or a mental problem that it's not your fault uh, or or you're just hung like a circus mule. Maybe she's not turned on by you anymore. Yeah, maybe she didn't like you. Maybe she did. But does she say she likes you? Well, no, it's, it's always been this way, though. Like, it hasn't, it hasn't, uh, it's not like it's changed or it's different now. It's, it was a struggle at the beginning. It continues to be a hard struggle. Mm. That's a tough one. I, 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 I think there's, uh, you, you can either A, help her, if you like her enough, help her get it figured out, or B, just take off. All right. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, not a lot of choices there. Because it's been a while. It's not like it's you know it's once or twice. It's it's been the progressive thing, and it's yeah, it sucks. I guess. Yeah, it totally sucks. It it completely sucks. Sounds like she doesn't like him. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, let's call a spade a spade here. I tried to give yeah. the guy like some some confidence Positive, by saying yeah. he had a huge wiener, but uh, he says it's average, and then. No, I, I don't know. Maybe she does. I don't know. I don't know any chicks that don't like. I like especially to a good guy. If he's a good guy. <clears> yeah, if you guy. like him, I don't. I just don't like it. I don't like sex. And I hate to say, but maybe that was like you know, something happened that. Who knows? Well, generally, if you're not doing it, maybe she's afraid that she's going to turn into a nympho. Maybe she's a lesbian. Maybe she's a lesbian. Oh yeah, she is. You're right, bud. That's she's hot. a lesbian. So hot. By the edge. Hey, I'm wondering if you guys heard. What's that? 
Well, the bird, 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 the 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 bird. Why does that make me laugh every time? Because I'm 10 years old. Hey, the edge. Hey, how are you? I have an awkward question. Yep. Why does she think it's cute to come in when I'm taking a shower and drop the deuce? It's not uh, cute. It's gross. Are you sure it's a she? <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I've, I've checked down there. So. Okay. Yeah, I think that's morning. a cool trick. <laughs> no, it isn't. No, I think it's cool. No, it isn't. It's no. terrible. It's a terrible idea. I think it's funny. But it's every morning. It's no. like clockwork. Just goes in, drops, shows me a smile, and then proceeds to do her business. Does she sit to wipe or stand? Um, She kind of leans over. Oh, she leans like to the side. You, are you married? Uh, I live with her, so yeah, no. basically. No. Uh, I would I would put an end to that right away. There needs to be a little bit of mystery in your relationship, and it's not when she's taking a dump in front of you, I'll tell you that. How many washrooms do you have? Two washrooms. Oh, t- what is she doing? Tell her to go take know. a dump somewhere else. I've told her. She just thinks it's adorable. She thinks it's adorable? Yeah, she just smiles. and like, I'm cute, and, and I don't think it's cute. Does she you know flush what? the toilet? Yeah. Did she think that's cute, leaving some floaters in there? <laughs> Do you have any advice for how I can handle this? Yeah, thing? tell her lock the door, man. Jesus, that's all I was gonna say. Lock <laughs> the door. Say I in on no uncertain circumstances. Because you know what, you, you, it's there are no uncertain terms. You can't watch girlfriend take a dump if you don't like it. it I, I couldn't. It would be the worst. Uh, you know, I, it, it'd be it'd be the end. Yeah, I guess I should just yeah, just I tell her, her about door. her. She just does. She I don't know what's wrong with her. She just thinks it's adorable. No, it's not. It's gross. I'm thinking no, he's cute at all. No. no. You do? It's fine. Your girlfriend take a, take no, a poop no, in no, front of you? No, 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 she wouldn't, no. No. You take a poop in front of her? No. I've had others, though. Like peas? Oh, shit. Oh, other girls. Yeah. That, like, <clears> no then, problem like, taking a dog in front of Not if you don't mind. Not if you don't. The odor? Hey, <laughs> the edge. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Good. Uh, I'm calling in about the guy whose uh, girlfriend has a hard time with sex. Yeah. I put up with that crap for over 20 years, man. It doesn't get any better. Really? Your wife, that happened to you? What happened? Uh, there was nothing physical. It was, it was something psychological. We went to counseling. She went to therapy. Uh, it just wasn't working, man. So did you guys have kids and stuff? Yeah, two kids. I figured it would get better after we had kids. No. Uh, how often did you guys have sex towards the end? Oh, man. Uh, once every three months. And why, why didn't she want to do it? She just was never comfortable. I I think she was never comfortable with her own body, with her own sexuality. Oh, do you think she's a lesbian? (laughs) No. Oh, Oh, you mean sexually she's not comfortable sexually? Sexually, yes. And she couldn't figure out why? No. um, So did you leave? Yes, I did. Did Did it upset her greatly? Well, I didn't just leave because of that. I mean, you know what it's like. There were things I wasn't happy she wasn't happy, so... Yeah. Or everybody, everybody's happy now. Does she have a boyfriend or anything, or no? No, she Other. does not. Yeah. Do you have a girlfriend? Yes, I do. You getting it all the time? All the time. How sweet is it? It's amazing. Yeah. Makes life way better, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. It does. Congratulations, dude. Good for you. See? That guy heard... He, he just heard firsthand. It doesn't get any better. At all. Yeah. <clears throat> There's an awakening that happens with guys too when they get out of something that they go, wow, that was, that was, and then you and then you get angrier as time goes on, thinking, why, 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 why how can I be so stupid? You want to go back and talk to him, <laughs> to the old you. Yeah. yeah, that guy would should, from experience, would probably like to go back in time and slap himself in the face, bring his new fingers and tell the old yeah. one to smell him. <laughs> 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 That's a good one. Thanks, man. Even, it was even funny, even though you sound like a, like, like, a like Lou Rawls. Like a loser. <laughs> Lou Balls. <laughs> Lou Balls. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. If you could travel back in time, and all you do is oh, walk that... up to your old self and go, here, smell these two fingers. That's the reason to invent a time machine yeah. right there. So you can smell your own fingers yeah. from the future. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> yeah, that guy uh, should do that for sure. <clears throat> Or go back in time and slap yourself out. Yeah. Or go back in time and go, hey, dude, she lights your car on fire in uh, 2006. Your brand new car, she lights it on fire. Really? Yeah. 
get out. Today, we'll be opening up the phone lines to find out a little bit more about you. On with your wiener. What's wrong with you? Why are you so different from normal people? What happened in your life to make you so odd? Please join us, won't you? A crooked wiener. I saw a big crooked wiener. You did? Yeah. Where? In a porn. When? I was watching porn. <laughs> really? Yesterday. You look like a bag yeah. of dick, though. You oh, look do I look terrible? terrible? Yeah, yeah. You need to I go feel, home soon. No, don't come in tomorrow no. if you're like this. All right. You can go home now, too, if you want. I'd okay. prefer if you stay because I like you, but... No, I'm, I'm fine, dude. Uh, I'll tough it out. Derek. I haven't done one. That was just Todd breathing. Okay. But it was really crooked. It was like, I was like... <sighs> so I, I, I can't watch that. Like, yeah. I can't believe you watched right, porn to the, the left or to the it. down to the up. The other guy loved it, though. It was weird. <laughs> <laughs> it tickles. <laughs> oh, I feel that on my thigh. <laughs> it gets all the way to my hip. It's all the way to the left. It's awesome. No, the girl actually loved it, though. Seriously. Yeah, that's stupid. It was weird. Maybe she was acting. <laughs> really? <laughs> I don't know. I've never seen him scream like that. <laughs> At the edge. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. What's your name? Amanda. What's wrong with you, Amanda? Okay, so um, me and my boyfriend have been trying to have a baby for about a year, and I couldn't get pregnant, so I went to a fertility clinic to find out why, and apparently um, I have premature ovarian failure, and I'm going through menopause at 23 years old. Really? Yeah. <laughs> That's terrible. That is terrible. Are you is moody? It, is it hard to, uh, yeah, are you moody? No. <laughs> A little bit. A little bit, maybe. Well, you get hot flashes? No. So you're not going to be able to have kids? Mm -hmm. No, it's not possible. Hmm. Yeah. Why? Is it, is it, Uh, is it, can it be reversed? Can they say, it's like a, basically your junk gets really old really fast, right? Yeah, pretty much my ovaries have decided to just give up and not produce no more and just. What, what Mm -hmm. gave up? My ovaries. Yeah, you got like a 55-year-old vagina. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> it doesn't smell like one. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, oh, it's crazy. Hang on a second, okay? Oh, Hang oh. on. Just okay. It's <laughs> at least of her problems. <laughs> I don't know what you guys are talking about. Yeah, okay. Oh. okay. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yeah, you really do. Really do. <laughs> Cute. It is. She's cute. Hey, the edge. Hey, Dean. Never heard of that though. Yeah. How's it going? Good man. What's your name? Good. My name's Chris. Hey, Chris. What's wrong with you? Well, I gave you the nutshell story. Do you want the long version now? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what happened was I was in a ten-year marriage with a girl that uh, sex was basically her lying there and biting. A starfish on her action. Hey. And doing what? Biting on her forefinger. Like on her left hand, and when I was done, she just immediately say thank you, and that was it. Was like, she from the 1860s? <laughs> yeah, like no response. Yeah, you know, no for queen nothing. and country. Yeah, it was pretty terrible. Okay, so ten years of that, and then I, uh, I, I, I say I can't, I do this anymore, you know, and I start dating this girl from work who's got a couple of tattoos, a couple of piercings, and I heard her and a uh, friend at work talking. And she sounded a little bit more provocative. So we go out on a date, we go back to her place, and she uh, starts hooking me up with some really good mouth love. And uh, like I haven't had this in like 12 years. So yeah. Yeah, wow. boy. I'm in heaven. What's now she's right also with playing with the boys. Yeah. Playing with the chokes. It's a nice combo. A that is a nice combo. I will combo. say that. Yeah, it's good when they do that. Yeah. And then, you know. As the weeks progress, it goes to her playing with the boys that chode and then the uh, leather Cheerio. Oh, no. Wow. no. And you're okay with that? Uh, Outside? Well, you know, considering my last 10 years. What the one, hell, huh? <laughs> go big or go home at that point. Go gay or go home. 
Yeah, I, I was going from like all brand to like uh, Frosted Flakes. Yeah, that a boy. Uh, oh, count chocolate. So then it turns into a bit of insertion. Nothing, honey. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. With what? Then, like something? Uh, like an apparatus? A couple of fingers to... We get it. Right, we get right. it. Wow. We, this is getting too long. What happened? Okay, so eventually she's got me over a pile of pillows with a big strap on. <laughs> That a boy. You're turning into the victim here. Keep going. <laughs> She's giving it to me. The thing breaks off inside of me. It breaks off inside? Yeah, like it tears. Yeah, I get it. Wow. I don't need, dude, just get to the point. So what happened? I have to go to the hospital and get it removed. <laughs> it's still there? Because it, like, kind of turned sideways or whatever. I <laughs> she went at it. Man. I've never heard of them I'm breaking not even off. sure she likes you. <laughs> <laughs> That's that the best awesome. story ever. Yeah. That's great. So, so they took the it out. Hospital. Yeah. And the doctor's got me over a table and he's got a nurse helping him. Yeah. Did you get turned on because of all the stuff you did before that? No. Oh. <laughs> he whispers in your ear, you should have stuck and with my the prude. was in the corner <laughs> giggling. <laughs> Yeah. So the, the the nurse, the guy says, basically the nurse, look, you can do this. She practically f- me, but gets it out. Okay, so All she right. got it out. Great news. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, the edge. Hey, how you doing? Good. Um. So basically, in a nutshell, I was uh, tubing on Simcoe, and uh, the rope wrapped around my arm and started started pulling me and tearing my arm all apart. And the guys in the boat didn't even notice. For about probably five minutes later, after I was already being formed up, um, I was also in shorts, and uh, basically my uh, my little friends were smacking against the water so hard for probably about five minutes because I was trying to get this rope off, but they swelled up like the size of a, a tennis ball, and I was in the hospital for about a month, and uh, now now I can't have any kids. All from tubing. All from tubing. Yeah, that's why I don't tube. Those are good spotters. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think he's saying Hammered. go faster. Yeah. <laughs> you bastards! You <laughs> bastards! Go faster! Go faster! Whip turn, whip turn, okay. <laughs> whip turn, okay. <laughs> At the edge. Hello. Hello. Hey, man. Hey, how's it going? Good, but what's wrong with you? Um, my dad shared a hooker with his dad. Whoa. What now? Same how time. Do you know, how do you know that? Oh, one someone in my family told me. Your mom. <laughs> no. That's not even the worst part. Oh. Uh, my gramps, I guess, he uh, completed inside, and then my dad gave her mouth love after. Oh. You're making this. That's that, oh. Oh. No one does that. At the with edge. A <laughs> no one does that with a hooker. No one. no one performs any kind of mouth anything with a hooker. Hey, at the edge. Hello? Hey. How are you doing? Good. What's your name? Billy. Billy. Yes. What's up, Billy? Uh, well, basically, when uh, me and my brother were four and seven, my mother tried to kill us. Wow, let's hear about this. You're a winner <laughs> on the Beam Lundell Show! Yay! So give us the details. What happened? You won already, but uh, let us know what happened. That's uh, that's uh, that's funny. <laughs> so my mother went crazy. Uh, she, uh, her friend... Thankfully, her friend was there. She was trying to grab knives out of the drawer and everything, yeah. saying she was going to kill us. Uh, she got taken away by the men in the little white suits, had 21 shock treatments, and has never been the same again. So do, have you, do, you, do you still have contact with her after she tried to kill you, or is that like the end of the friendship? Uh, no, actually, she got out of the hospital, and the government actually decided to send us back with her. How'd that go? Uh, not too well. I Uncomfortable at dinner. She screwed up most. Of- <laughs> yeah. Did you, how long did you live with her? I was, her yeah, it took me until I was about thirty to get my act together. I was in and out of jail my whole life. And, oh, really? Yeah. Uh, so did you live with her even after she tried to kill you and your brothers? Did she? Did you? Did you live with her until you were older? Yeah, we lived with her until we were older. Until they finally took us away from her. Uh, I remember me and my brother had the conversation, and I'm like, you know, she tried to kill us, and he's like, well, she was just sick. And we were little kids, right? So yeah. we didn't really hmm. know what the heck was going on. Hmm. Some people can forgive. Yeah, no <laughs> kidding. And then as Todd said, uh, that would, dinner would have been really uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking Christmas about? would have been tough, too. Yeah. <laughs> remember that time, Mom? <laughs> yeah. Same. <laughs> yeah, you sitting around at Thanksgiving. I'm yeah. thankful you never stabbed us. <laughs> yeah, that's basically about it. Uh, congratulations, Todd. I'll tell you what you won. All right, we'll give you a $100 Montana's gift card, and you're going to go see the Deftones tomorrow night at the Cool House. Awesome. All right, dude. You okay now? 
Uh, you know what? I got three kids of my own. Uh, a lot of, uh, you know, uh, years of uh, therapy and stuff. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we turned out okay. Life's good, dude. I'm happy for you. Congratulations. Thanks. Okay, brother. Hang on. <laughs> wow. I, guess I could just kill those kids. Yeah, if you think your mom's a bitch today. <laughs> <laughs> think of that guy's mom. Yeah. Super bitch. The Chorus Broadcasting System presents The Dean Blundell Show. It's going to be a super duper program for you. 102.1. This is your Edge Files with Dean Blundell on the Edge. Hey, Hitler's running for office in India. You gotta be kidding no. me. No. Seeking re election, Adolf Lou Hitler, R. Marak of the Indian National Congress, one of many candidates with colorful names, starting uh, to run for election. The region known for its odd Western inspired names. Historian Amanda Passa told a newspaper it stems from um, people thinking, hey, this the West is way cooler than the East, man. And they went with Hitler? Yeah. That's still not the West. I mean, it's West of them. Yeah. The result of fascination anything Western or European of their parents, other candidates include Frankenstein Momen. Really? Frankenstein's running. Highlander Karamalaki. <laughs> Field Marshal Wapahasing. Field Marshal. It's his actual first These are name. names. Moonlight Parat. Jim with an H. Jim. Carter. Jimmy Carter. Yeah. <laughs> Hilarious Dakar. <laughs> Righteous and Sangma. Righteous. Righteous. And Billy the Kid Sangma. Ah. What is Sangma? As for Hitler, India's Jewish community leaders have called on him to change his name. What can be done now? My parents chose his name 54 years ago. He told a local newspaper. These parents are a-holes. No, so mean. It's like naming your kid Drake. Yeah. Worse. That's way worse. Oh, he's gonna be a dick too, eh? <laughs> no, that makes me laugh. And uh, happened in uh, Red BC. You, you remember the video? Of the uh, junior ice hockey coach tripped a couple of kids on the opposing team, broke one of the kids' wrists. Yeah. A guy his name is Martin Trombley. Now he's going to jail for 15 days after admitting he purposely tripped a 13-year-old hockey player. It's funny because originally he was doing the old not guilty thing, and then the video of it, it was all mm. over the internet. And if you watch it, I'm going to put it on my blog and tweet it for you later on today. If you watch a video, it's very funny. He goes through the whole lineup, trips the kid. Two kids fall. One kid breaks his wrist. Then he starts giving people the finger. So I would say that maybe guilt is implied. You think? And pointing to the kid as he fell down and laughing at him. Uh, in June of last year, Trombley was a volunteer coach for the UBC Hornets Pee Wee hockey team. They played against the Richmond Steel British Columbia team. Hornets, they were winning. That was his team. That didn't prevent the 48-year-old from venting on a 13-year-old. At the end of the match, the two teams line up for the traditional post-match handshake. Amateur video captured Dickhead intentionally tripping a 13-year-old. Crowd booed, started pointing at the boy aggressively as he laid on the ice. According to witnesses, he was mocking the boy throughout the whole game, insulting his skating, calling him twinkle toes later in the locker room. He admitted he intentionally tripped the boy who ended up injuring his wrist and had to wear a cast because it was broken. This is where the story gets fun. After pleading guilty to one count of assault, prosecutors asked him to be placed under house arrest. Defense asked for a suspended sentence. Patrick, uh, the, the Judge Patrick denied them both, describing the attack as a cowardly sucker punch to an unsuspecting child. Society will not tolerate the assault of uh, children by adults. He hopes that uh, sticking Trombley with some jail time will send a message. His defense team said it's way too harsh. Quote, he lost his wife. He lost a number of construction contracts. He's rebuilding his life after the incident. <laughs> He's paid a heavy price for all of his actions that day. He added that he will likely never coach hockey again, and it really hurts him. And he had to. He's been barred from Scouts Canada too. 
Good. <clears throat> Broke the wrist of a 13-year-old kid. <laughs> well, you deserved it, probably. You know? Sometimes kids are better hockey players than parents were when they were younger. It's funny, too, because they, they let anybody coach hockey. Yeah. Yeah, do they I do background I don't, checks on, oh, on coaches? they should. I know, I know hockey yeah. coaches that have coke problems. I know hockey coaches that are just piss tanks it, 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 for all over the place. It's mm. amazing. It truly is amazing. That swear at kids, yell at kids, treat kids like crap. This is a good one, though. The video is hilarious because he goes through and he, and he intentionally trips the kid and then points at him and starts laughing at him. Like, if that's not a super a-hole, like I don't just know what fell. it is. Yeah. yeah. If there's uh, a lot of people have iPhones these days, fella. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, everybody did. Everybody taped the whole thing, and then he, people started throwing stuff at him on the ice, and he was giving it some of this, like a little bit of giving him the finger, telling people to F off. And that's a guy with some major troubles. You'll get his. Oh, I know. 15 days, days in jail. I hope someone trips him face first and then props him up a little bit and slowly pulls down his pants. He'll find his new wife. <laughs> Hope they break more than his wrist. Oh, yeah. Oh. Those are your Edge Files, whatever the hell day it is in February of the year 2013. The Edge Files! On 102.1, The Edge! Edge. Attention, citizens of Florida! Attention, citizens of Louisiana! The Dean Blundell Show. It's going to be category 5 for Greg. 102.1. Our apologies. Todd's voice is gone and my close. Oh, that one works. But I can do an impression. Oh, you don't say. <laughs> <laughs> the Dean Blundell Show proudly presents Tweets from Drake. Really doing it for the H time tonight, though. You've been listening to Tweets from Drake from the Dean Blundell Show, 102.1 The Edge. The Dean Blundell Show proudly presents Tweets from Drake. I'm a legend in Pickering, tall man. You've been listening to Tweets from Drake from the Dean Blundell Show, 102.1 The Edge. I, I think that puke could get beat up if he went to Pickering. That's what I think. The Dean Blundell Show. The Dean Blundell Show. 102.1 The Edge. Coming up in just a few minutes. Whole Renovations is back. I'm getting an email from Allison. Yeah. My favorite game ever, she said. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. Nice one. Driving to a held job back in 2002. Really loved whole renovations. So that was nice of her. Allison. Zach. Really excited for it. It's coming up in a minute. Mm. Not as excited, though, as our man Marlo. Oh, yeah. Everybody, he's here. Good morning, yeah. Marlo. Hey. Otherwise known as uh, Archie. <clears throat> our uh, intern. And uh, big news, folks. Today was his first payday. Oh. How long have you worked here? I've been here two years. Two years. Yeah. And it almost didn't even happen because a few weeks ago when we were in the process of actually physically putting you on payroll, you split for a couple days. You just phased out. Yeah. I uh, took a couple days off from here. Without uh, telling without us. Telling anybody. Yeah. A really crucial time. It's pretty dumb of me. Yeah. <laughs> so <clears throat> now tell us about the feeling. So when did you, when did you uh, look in your bank account? <laughs> I checked it out this morning. Okay. And uh, tell us what happened. Like, what did you see? What did you feel? How did you? I knew that, well, <laughs> I knew it was running a little bit empty last week. And uh, it was, I submitted timesheets a couple weeks ago. So uh, I knew that it was coming and I saw it this morning and <laughs> really excited about it. What did you say to me in, the, uh, in, your, in your little studio there? How, how much You're I've wanted to work here my entire life. Uh, truly a dream to actually be on the payroll. And, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but what did you say? You're still what? Oh, still coming down from the field. <laughs> 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 it's like you won the Stanley oh, Cup. <laughs> You're talking still about it like coming you won down the from payday. Yeah. It's so exciting. Dude, it's honestly like you won the cup. <laughs> I dreamt that my whole life. <laughs> yeah, I'm still coming down from it. I'm going to Disneyland. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, he's got some stuff to pay off first yeah. before he goes to Disneyland. Yeah. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Good for you. Thank you very much. Oh, there's so many things we wish we could talk to him about. Too. Yeah. 
like what I know you're going to spend at least a thousand and a half dollars on. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> anyway, we'll have that for you another date. Yeah. Uh, Eight fifty nine. Congratulations, Marlo, on the payroll officially. Let's give him a hand. Two no, years. No, it up. Yeah, we we sucked the two years of free employment out of him though. That was pretty, pretty good. Impressive. Yep. I woke up to go give me a cold pop. I said, oh, Lord Jesus, this is... The Dean Blundell Show. Then I ran out. I didn't grab no shoes or nothing, Jesus. Dean Blundell Show. I got bronchitis. Well, two by one. Ain't nobody got time for that. Yes. Hello there. Oh, yeah. The Dean Blundell Show presents Ho... I get to pull out all that cocky. Renovation. Oh, yeah. Dark wood. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> all right, time for Ho Renovations is where you... Uh, Guess the clips we're playing. It could be from a home renovation show or a dirty film. 416-870-EDGE, 870-3343. At the edge. Good morning. Who's this? This is Tony P. Tony P, how you doing? (laughs) Hey, I'm all right, man. I'm ready to play some whole renovations. All right, where are you calling from? A Tim Hortons line in North York. Get out of here. No, it's a hell of a long line. All right, Tony. Tony! You ready to play? Yeah, let's do it. All right. Um, <clears throat> guess if these clips are from a home renovation show or if they're not, if they're from a dirty movie, 416 870 Edge, 870 3343, the phone number to call. I wonder, too, when you listen to these clips, uh, Derek, did at any point mm. in time, did you get turned on thinking about home renovations? <laughs> No, oh, yeah. yeah. You do, too. Big time. Yeah, you're, you're like, you're big into that. Here's the first clip. <laughs> As far as the type of cock to choose, um, generally I like to get white. Um, I've tried almond colors and others, but I always find that white looks clean after it's done. (laughs) I'm going to have to go with home. Thank God we'd be fired if it wasn't. (laughs) (laughs) There's an LK in that word. Want to shoot it against um, a piece of paper towel or something, not at someone. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to go with home again. That's, That's correct. correct. <laughs> <laughs> you Let's hear it soft. again just in case. Want to yeah. shoot it against um, a piece of paper towel or something, not at someone. <laughs> Very kind of All us. right, <laughs> clip number three. Right in there. Oh. I want to say home, but I'm going to have to go with ho. Oh, Tony. Hey, that's three right. Three for three. Congratulations. You win. You're a winner. Thank you. Yay. God, I missed this game. Team <laughs> Blundell <laughs> Show. It's going to scar me for life. It's going to haunt me forever. Even at an old age. 102.1. I don't know how you put up with it. The Edge. The Dean Blundell Show presents... Awkward Mail Questions mm-hmm. Morning <laughs> Hi The Edge Hey how you doing? Good what's up? Man, man I just was uh, calling about um, where, the, the question The weird men question Yeah awkward male questions Go ahead there yeah. champ I, um, If you find out that your homie um, Got a software Chili gunneria. Do you, would you still smoke a duel with him? No. Are you serious? <laughs> if he what I miss that. You found out your homie had a esophageal gonorrhea. Would you still smoke a dube with him? No. No. No, not at all. No. What, did what you about a cold sore? No. <laughs> did you do that? Did you do that, dude? No, 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 no. I didn't do it. I just, I just had the question. Like, yo, I didn't do it, but it, it was about to happen. So. Not going down anymore. How did he? Uh, what happened? Like, tell, take me through what happened. Cause that's an interesting one. Well, I was saying he just came. Not, he came home. Well, he came back from the strip club. I mean, a couple days went through, and you know what I'm saying he went to the doctor because he had like he said he had a lump in his throat. Like, so I'm like, what you mean you got a lump? He's like, I don't know. He's coughing up all kind of nasty slim. Now I mean, so I'm like, I'm like, nah, son, don't do it at all, bro. You can't. Don't do it. Don't do it to yourself. Go check it out. And <laughs> what it was, he got he got the esophageally eating a stripper. <laughs> esophageally. I love it. He called it esophageally. I love it. I love it. Do it, 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 having fun with the stripper. Yeah, yeah, you can't do that. You can't. Those are the worst times to do it, right? 
Exactly. Wow. Turn your radio down for me, please. All right. You'll be able to hear this in a second. Don't worry. Um, so, so he told you that, and then did he did he start lighting up a spliff? Yeah, that's what happened. He started lighting up, and I'm like, nah, fam, I can't even do it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even do it, dude. Nah. <laughs> Roll me another one. Nah, I rolled my own. Like, uh, I got it, man. I'm rolling my own, bro. Yeah, you don't even want. <laughs> yeah, you don't even want his fingers touching it. Yeah, yeah. No. Why? Well, was he pissed off, or did he understand that because of his esophageal, you didn't want to smoke a dude with him? Because right, of my personality, he understand. But I had to tease him like he got it. Now, I mean, all, all the homies found out after that. We had to tease him like, "What are you doing with your face under there anyway? You fool!" It's like the number one rule of the strip joint. Yeah, yeah. yeah don't you can touch, touch it. Don't eat it. Yeah, exactly, man. Exactly, I like you. What's your name, dude? Dre, man, from from Jersey, man. I love your show. I just moved up here, and I'm loving your show, man. Why you move up here from Jersey? Oh, man, the, the, come on, man. Economy down there, all kind of nonsense. I said, yo, I'm coming to Canada, man, and the females up here are... Aren't they? Yes. Pop it. Yeah, well, you're, you're homie. <laughs> <laughs> the females up here are the best. However, we still have a couple of dirty ones. Got it. Yeah, you definitely do. Got some scud buckets. <laughs> Scuzz buckets. <laughs> Haven't heard that since grade nine. No, that's <laughs> awesome. Bring it back. Bring it back. Hey, I like you, man. So you lived in you lived in uh, New Jersey. What'd you do in Jersey? Oh uh, well, I was a chef by trade. Not I mean, and then I had a little couple odds and ends jobs. Then it was like, you know what? Come up to Canada. See what it is. Yeah. Came up here. Where'd you move to? Um, Toronto. You're right in Toronto. Right in Toronto. Uh, good, dude. Well, hey, welcome to Canada, and uh, thanks for calling the show. Dude, stay on hold. I want your phone number. All right, sure, no doubt. Yeah, okay, man. Hang on. This guy I like is that. The best. He's, yeah, it's cool. I love America. Why can't everybody be like that yeah. guy? Just honest, just open, just fun. Esophageal. <laughs> My homie got esophageal gonorrhea. Would you smoke a doobie with him? <laughs> 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 I wouldn't even shake his hand. I think I'd probably like unfriend him like you would on Facebook. Yeah, but in big real time. life. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hi, the edge. Hi there. How are you? Good, man. What's your name? Calling uh, Stewart. I'm yeah. calling about the awkward male question. Yeah, dude. Go ahead. Well, the gentleman just talked about on the uh, uh, radio right now, but I think that people don't know you can also get uh, uh, can toe cancer that way too. Any uh, any girls got any um, exposure to your HPV and you're, yeah. you're uh, doing that? You can also get throat cancer. Is it? This is spoken for. This is. You're actually not wrong, yeah. but it's truly a man that never wants to do that. Repeats that <laughs> stuff. <laughs> yeah, well, I got I had throat cancer, so I know. Oh, you, from that? <laughs> well, it's pretty well hard. They, I think they did a, a DNA thing on, on the cancer tumor, and and they figured it could have been possibly from that rather than from smoke I don't really smoke and drink and and actually the fact is probably at the I've been cured for like two and a half years and I think that they, they, they're telling me that the reason is that if that is the cause your chances of being cured are about 30 40 percent higher than if it was smoking and drinking Oh, okay. That's so, so scary. Yeah, huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I love doing that. <laughs> and yeah. drinking and smoking. <laughs> yeah, no, not really well, smoking. I called the doctor. I said, listen, I'll quit drink, I'll quit smoking. It's too late for me, ain't bad. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> Dr. Wink's like, I get it. <laughs> Good for you. How old are you? Uh, I'm old. <laughs> I've been listening to you guys since... Uh, In your 50s? Uh, yeah. Not that old. I've been old. listening to you guys since you started. All right, dude. First started actually. Well, thank you very much, dude. Where are you calling from? Uh, Toronto. I live right downtown King Street. I've always lived downtown, oh. King or Queen. I said since uh, since you first opened up that station, it's the only station I've ever listened to. I appreciate Thanks, it. Man. Thanks for your call. I'm glad you're uh, healthy. Good work and loyal. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> to doing that act. <laughs> yeah. Hi, the Edge. Hi. Good morning, guys. Who's this? It's Laura. What's up, Laura? Okay, I have a I have a question. I need your advice. Mm -hmm. Doesn't ha does a man have homosexual tendencies if he lets me explore his entire body? Yes. Really? Yeah, I disagree. Really? No. What do you mean by explore? It? Like pinky finger yeah. in certain areas, maybe other yeah, things I'm, in certain areas. I'm quite open, so I I know certain spots that might arouse them a bit more. Um, that they may have not been open to do before, but 
if I convince him, does that make it seem that he has homosexual tendencies? I don't know. That's you're convincing him. You can't well, convince not- someone they're gay. Not they're either gay or not. But and if you you might does he does he does he have gay tendencies? No, not at all. It's just. I would feel he's maybe more open with his sexuality if he feels comfortable. Oh, you want to give it to him, don't you? Not give it to him like that. <laughs> but play with the area. Pretty much, just because I know what it can do for him. But he's convinced that that's not what men should be doing in places that, they do, that I should be touching. <laughs> I know someone that said uh, to a friend of mine that she does it to all kinds of guys. And I'm like, what do you mean you do it all kinds of guys? She goes, yeah, pretty much every guy likes it. And I'm like, no, not every guy likes it. No, but the guys who do like it, I really believe it doesn't mean that they have any sort of gay tendencies. I, I, I don't, and I'm admitting spoken, that. This is spoken from a guy that likes it. No, that like, <laughs> likes that area explored for sure. But, I mean, if you're with a woman and this thing is still really working. Yeah. There's a, they, they, you don't want to be with anybody else. No. It's, yeah. I think it's okay. I, Are you married I, to him? No, I'm not, but I've been with him for a while. and if he doesn't want to do it, though, like, it's the same thing if you reverse it. Like, if, if he said to you, hey, I want to do this with some Dutch clogs, some canola oil, a spatula, <laughs> an X-Acto knife, some acid, <laughs> and some other like, stuff. And, and a couple of you, guys. A couple of other guys <laughs> with, uh, you know, with gonorrhea, um, okay, well, so a, 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 a stuffed <laughs> buffalo, and uh, a metal a metal ha- coat hanger. You, you, would, you would probably go, I'm not into it, right? Yeah, that's it doesn't sound fun. Thing, <laughs> so for him, it's the same thing because that's what I hear when someone goes, "Hey, can I do the little thing with your thing?" I'd be like, "Oh, you, you might as well just ask me if you wanted to hang me from my nipples from the sky." <laughs> oh, I see. You go to the extreme. Yeah, I, it just mm. it's not me. I don't care. But if a guy's into it, and he says that to you, if he says, "Hey, I want to try this," and you say no, he needs to respect that. Just like you can't be sticking things in there if he doesn't like it. Cajoling. I think that the reasoning why he doesn't want me to try it is because he thinks it will make him seem gay. But if he's doing it with me, and I'm very open with a lot of things... Well, technically, and I'm looking on... I'm I'm just reading about it right now. It says, quote, uh, any guy... And this is from uh, the Dictionary of Medical Uh, Sexual History. Any guy that puts him there totally is gay. (laughs) (laughs) So technically, he's right. Give him a little tickle there one day. He'll he'll, he'll want you back. No, he won't. I don't know why. Well, I don't know what women's fascination with that is. It's just a well, dirty. It's a dirty area. But the guys who who they who have allowed them to say, "Yeah, try it out. We'll see." Generally, really like it. It's a dirty area. Well, you can clean. That's what exfoliating fun, sponges for. <laughs> <laughs> Jar cleaner. Rub it all out of there. Ah, oh, dude, that's where the poop is. Have you never hey, with a female though? Never. Never in that. You never, never. explored that area. Never on myself. No, 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 but have you with a female explored in that area? That's uh, it's privileged information. Okay, I'm just saying that's where the poop is. <laughs> it's still yeah, dirty. but it's not mine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, sorry, what's up? Hey, uh, I don't know if it's really gay or not to just be with a woman. Usually, to uh, be gay, you need a man involved. Um, no, he he was worried he would feel gay. I don't I, listen. I don't think the guy's gay if he if if he let someone touch that area. But you know, it, it it's like um, not knowing what you've started. Oh my god! If I'd have known that it led to this, I wouldn't have done that. That's an interesting point. I will yeah. that maybe that could have led someone to try and want more stuff and yeah. more. That's interesting. I'll, I'll give you that one. Yeah. And then, yep. and then you know, you, pretty soon she's asking for another guy to get into there, and you're like, I don't know, it doesn't feel that bad. It, and that's like interesting. It. And then you question your sexuality. It just it doesn't. It's a, it might not make you gay, but it sure doesn't help. Anything bigger than pinky? Get out! No, of but the pinky. The pinky crap. Come on. It's got, at the edge. Hi, I'm I'm just calling in for uh, Dean Blundell. Yep. What's uh, up? Do, do I just tell you that? What's your question? question here? Yeah, awkward male question. Oh, well, I, I just wanted to know uh, what, what's the time limit between, uh, you know, when you break up with your ex-girlfriend, when a friend is allowed, if he is, to... What happened you to know, you? I'm trying to get with her. What happened was uh, I broke up with my girlfriend, and the day after, my one of my good friends started messaging her. And I found this out because... What, the next I, day? Yeah, the next day. Hmm. Well, you're not, with, you're, not, you're not with her anymore. Yeah. 
Uh, no, I, I got... It is a okay. douche move, though. Yeah. Like, it, yeah. it's a pretty... It's a douchey, douchey move. It's not a friend. No. That's not a friend. Yeah, so, first of all, it, do, do you like the girl still, or does she break up with you? Well, we, we actually just got back together, and this is this is when she told me, so I, I did confront the guy about it, you know, and... What did he I'm say? Not, I'm not going to be his friend anymore. He said... Oh, uh, he said, oh, bros <laughs> before hoes. Uh, you know, you know what? And it's oh. it's funny... Because I, I was married for a long time, and it was within a month after, so a friend of mine did the exact same thing. To your they, wife? And, and not a friend of mine anymore, just a complete piece of dirt. And yeah, and and then, yeah, and then, you know, you, you go, no, it's just not my wife. And then and then you, you go, and it, and it hadn't, like, I, I could care less who or what it was. It was that idea. You know what I mean? It was that guy. It had nothing to do really with her. I could care less, uh, it, you know, what happens in that case. I really don't. But, you know, it's just, it's just kind of a dirtball thing to do. Yeah, um, like there's no trust in that. No, you know? no, it's exactly. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, if it was just a woman you picked up at a bar, you had a night, and then maybe you thought she was cute again, like that's different. But if it was actually somebody you cared yeah. about, yeah, that's just wrong. Hey, The Edge. Hello. Hi, it's Claire Bear. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> How are you? Good. I love this. It's like all dirty. What's all dirty? <laughs> the, the topics, the, the issues with the guys. The bung piece. Yes, yes. Oh What's happening with you? Not much. Not too much. You, you sound sober. I am. What? Yeah. I know. I, 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 there's something got it wrong together? with me. Yeah. There's something wrong with me. <laughs> Today I got it together. Good for you. Yeah. Oh, I love you guys. Yeah, we love you too. So why were you drinking so much recently? I don't know. I, it was just something I did. It was something I did. Mm-hmm. There you go. I don't know. So, yeah, I'm normal today, I think. Mm-hmm. I could be wrong. Okay. <laughs> so what, what happened uh, What happened after we talked to you? Did you keep drinking or did you have some guys come over? Is that, is that uh, you said you had some guys that were coming over to keep you company? Waka, uh, waka, waka. Well, mm-hmm. I did have some guys come over, but nothing sexual. It was, oh, you didn't have sex with them? No, 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 no. I think I'm turned off with sex from my ex-boyfriend. Why? Yeah. What happened? Ah, uh, well, to get back to what you guys were talking about, um, he uh, he wanted me to do something like his uh, shoop, and I didn't want to, and, shoop. you know, I just thought, ew, that's gross. And yeah, it, it is turned, gross. Yeah, You're right. It, it just turned me off of it, so I said, blah, blah, gross. You said that, eh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I said it right to him, and he... Is he gross looking? Oh, well, he's not the best looking. You're not great looking either, right? No, Is that correct? no, yeah. I'm not. Like, I but you're just, awesome. I, I Well, thank you. Like, how tall are you? <laughs> I'm 5'1". And how much do you weigh? Uh, 170. Yeah, that's right. 5'1", yeah. 170, like a propane tank with a head. Exactly. I think yeah. that's lovely, Claire. I'm a, I'm a marshmallow. <laughs> 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 Which is weird because you walk dogs for a living, so you'd think I, you'd be really thin. Yeah, well, you know what? I'm a bottomless pit. I can eat and eat and eat. And well, I don't know if it's bottomless yeah. when you're five one one seventy. <laughs> There's a bottom. <laughs> yeah, and it's making its way to the top. Yeah, well, I think that might be happening. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> so, what are you doing today? Uh, not much. I have just done my dog, and um, <laughs> no, not that way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah. You are a bottomless pit. <laughs> oh, yeah. No wonder she didn't have sex with those guys. <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised she, she didn't want to do that. Dog. She didn't want to reciprocate to the boyfriend what the dog does to her. <laughs> yeah, no, no, don't, no. don't, don't do it, dog. Yeah. No. Why are you doing your dog? I'm not doing my dog. I walk my dog. Well, you got to say that. Difference. Oh, well, I apologize. Oh, dear. You can't say you <laughs> did your dog. No, not in that way. Ew. <laughs> I'm not into bestiality. That's Good. gross. All right. Oh, no. Anything else? Uh, not too much, but <gasps> I could could um have you guys on Facebook if you want. No. No. I well, actually you want get, to find you. Yeah, yeah. Todd, Todd will, you can join Todd. I don't have Facebook. But. Oh, really? Oh, we have no a more. morning show Facebook account. I think it's just Dean Blundell Show. Is that correct? On Facebook, and you can find pictures that uh, I guess we've put up there, and people argue and <laughs> swear and all kinds of neat stuff. I see. Cause uh, how old are you? 
I'm almost 30. You gotta get it together. <laughs> Me get it together. Is uh, that funny? All right. Is it funny? It is funny. I like you. I like you. We had a good. We had, we had that Trey on the phone. He's a cool guy. Claire called. Yeah. The other guy called. He's like some guy tried to rub my my girlfriend's rhubarb. <laughs> a good day so far. Yeah, there you go. <clears throat> All right. All right. So uh, you have. What are you doing today? Uh, doing some laundry. All right. Have fun. I will. God bless you. You too. Bye, sweetheart. Okay. Bye. Only so much you can say to her when she's not wasted. Yeah. yeah. Quite as fun. No, I wish she was wasted. No. Some people are just better wasted. Yeah. That chick. Most people actually are yeah. better wasted. <laughs> you know what's really funny is I got I get emails from people. So we just talked to Claire, 51170. I got about three emails from guys going, I'll take her for some drinks. I'll do her. Oh, for sure. Guys have no morals. You guys have no principles. You are not picky. Men are not picky. Hi, The Edge. Hey, morning, guys. How's it going? Good, man. What's up? I got a question for you, Dean. Mm-hmm. Um, actually, it's more for Derek. <clears throat> All right. What does Derek dream about? Because he can't see stuff. You know what I mean? I dream exactly the way that I see, which is like 10%. Like, I hold stuff up close to my face in my dreams. Hmm. You dream what you know. So if you're having an erotic dream, you got stuff right up to your face. It stinks. Then <laughs> Thanks, guys. Yeah. yeah, dude, take care. People ask that a lot about you. Like I know. you, you dream what you've seen, which you're, you know, not good. Your yeah. vision's bad. Yep. If you were, if you were deaf, you'd just dream pictures. At the edge. A text message from. Oh, oh, oh let's hear it. No. Oh, at the edge. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I got through to you guys. I just wanted to talk can. about that uh, girl Claire that was just on. Yeah. She's a professional dog walker. Yeah. And she's overweight. Yeah. It doesn't make sense because I'm a <laughs> professional dog walker and I was 250 pounds when I started. And I've lost like 130 pounds. Whoa. Do you have a lot of flappy that. skin all over the place? <clears throat> no, I started toning. Uh, like doing sit-ups and crap? Yep, sit-ups. Um, got that little leg toner for the inner thighs. I do a lot of push-ups for you my You get the arms. shake weight? You ever do the shake weight? That looks um, funny when girls use that. <laughs> it is It is a funny thing. I haven't gotten it yet. They do have it at Excess Cargo for like five bucks, though. So yeah, they, might, uh, you know, Be ready for that to like fly off and hit you in the face if you get it from there. <laughs> Excess Cargo, how <laughs> yeah. funny is that, too? Right? <laughs> 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 um, Excess Cargo's the best. Yeah, yeah. yeah two, so why were you, how tall are you? I'm 5'5". Five five. And you were 250? Yeah. Oof. Jesus H. I was a bigger girl. That What'd you is eat? For sure. What'd you eat? Like what, when you were like just snarfing it down, what was it? Well, no, you know what? It wasn't that I was really a bad eater. I was, I was in a bad car accident and I was in mobile for like two years. Yeah. So I gained a whole lot of weight. In mobile, like what happened when you were in the accident? Um, I had, uh, well, I still do have three herniated discs in my back Mm -hmm. and I just, it was more, um, psychological depression that kind of drove me down. But then I got into the dog walking, like I say, almost two years ago. Well, my business has been open for 16 months and, uh, I've never felt better. I'm almost, I'll be 29 this year and, uh. Yeah, I feel like I'm starting my life over again. So I just didn't understand how, well, she's a big drinker, I guess. Well, and Claire probably walks the dog, like, to a balcony and leaves yeah, him there. Yeah, you should like, see the dogs. <laughs> well, she walks him to McDonald's you. and ties him up and then walks him back. <laughs> An hour <laughs> later. I, I see a lot of dog walkers out there, and they're not dog walkers. They take, like, 15 dogs to a leash free mm-hmm. and let them run around. Well, That's there's... Not- I was going to say, there's a dog walker in my neighborhood. The honestly, the best ass I've ever seen. Yeah. And, and I think it's from the dog walking. It is definitely it really? is. 100%. Incredible. Yeah. Legs and ass is what it does for you. Yeah, but you're still walking dogs. Yeah. What, what's wrong with that? It's nothing. It's lucrative. I'm say, is it really? Oh, yeah. How oh, much yeah. do you get paid walking dogs? Um, I pull in after 16 months of being open and working about six hours a day. I can probably take in about five grand clear uh, a month. month. 
I'm that's not, pretty good. Yeah. Well, a lot of it's not taxed. Eh? That's what these dog walkers are coming oh, Are you taxed? Yeah. A lot of it's cash. <laughs> 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 she, she whispered, she goes, no, nah, I don't get taxed. Uh, <laughs> dogs <laughs> pay them in cash. Well, under crazy. the kennel. <laughs> under the kennel. Here's your 20. <laughs> Dean Blundell Show, 102.1 The Edge.